Lauren, congratulations. Your first win back in a WSL1. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels fantastic. I think, like I say, getting your first three points on the board is really important, getting your first win. After losing to Chelsea last week, um, we just wanted to bounce back and we did that. I think first half the performance was fantastic from the girls. Second half, we made a hard work for ourselves. You all respect to them, they came out at us. But like I said, we got the result in the end and we managed the game. Is it fair to say that there's a little bit of nerves come towards the end? Because this is a very important game, isn't it? Even though it's only the second match of the season. Yeah, I think, I'm not sure. I think a lot of the girls are new to the league and some of them are young. So it's just learning how to manage games a little bit. I think that'll come with time. Um, but like I said, it's just experience that they've just gained now. Seeing out a game when it's 1-0, it's not pretty in the second half, but we saw it out. A couple of nervy moments, but everyone did their jobs in the end and we got the result. And you were there for the winning goal. I won't ask you when you last score, but uh, this one was a very important one. Probably one of the most important you score for the club, I would have thought. Yeah, it is important. And like I said, it's not important who scores it, really. Um, it was great build-up play from the team. Jana put in an absolutely fantastic ball. It was on a plate for someone to score. I think I might have gone in Carla's way, to be honest. <laughs> and then I just had a tap-in. So, um, like I said, it was a good team goal and good build-up. Your first goal for years and it gets announced as Frankie Brown. That's not fair, is it? <laughs> it's fine. Frankie can have it. It's fine. I think it's because we all did gifts and I didn't do one. So I think they thought they'd put someone on who did oh, a gift. Right. <laughs> so Frankie did the old wink and um, I did nothing. <laughs> I should look forward to that one. Then. The women are doing that now, are they the gift? Yeah, they're all doing it now. It's good for the game. Like I said, I didn't do one. So I think they put someone on who did. <laughs> We're now looking beyond the next week, a nice simple trip to Arsenal, another <laughs> game on the television. But then again, these are the sort of games that the team could only gain experience from, isn't it, really? Yeah, I don't think we'll be overwhelmed going into it after playing Chelsea. Even against Chelsea, we played some good stuff at times. We've learned from that now. So I think we'll be looking forward to it, going in positive, confident, learn from things from today. But like I said, we've just got three points, now it's on to the next one, try and build momentum. It can't be very often you've gone into games with Arsenal level on points with them. No, that's true, it's true. But, you know, every game's tough. It doesn't matter who you play in this league. Every game's different and tough in their own way. We know it's going to be tough up there, but we, we're up for the challenge. Well, most of all, you've now proved that you can win games at this level. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I think the performance first half in particular showed that we can play in WSL1, even against Chelsea in part. It's just building that into not just half game, 90 minutes, and actually managing it and, like I said, let, not having any nerves, which will come with experience from the girls. You shouldn't be forgotten, should it? There's been a lot of changes since the team won WSL2. You've had this, you know, the spring series in between, of course. You've lost a few players since then and brought a few players in. So it's going to take time for the team to gel, isn't it? No, definitely. I think, like I said, players from overseas don't, don't know the league at all. Young players who are getting their chances now. Players coming through the system, which is what we want. Um, it just takes time. So we gelled well in pre-season. We had some tough moments. We've got through them and we're still building. You know, We're not the finished article. We never will be. So if we can just keep building on this now and hopefully we've got more, more good things to come. One player looks as though she could be a real asset for you is Lauren Hemp. She's had that experience in the spring series and she was unlucky with that shot in the first half at the Woodbury, wasn't it? 2-0 then and it might settle the whole team down. Yeah, phenomenal shot. You know with Loz that even if you're under pressure, she's there as an outlet for you. She can get you a goal out of nothing and that shot just proved it. I mean, she almost hit it too cleanly, mm. I think. But no, she's fantastic for us. I think she's unknown to teams, but mm. she'll be known at the end of the season, that's for sure. You certainly will. Well done today, Lauren. Thank Thanks you. for coming and talking to us in this freezing cold weather here. Congratulations on the goal. I'll try and look up when you scored your last. <laughs> well and let you know but thanks for taking the time and coming and talking this one no problem. cheers cheers thanks.